kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Hey everyone out there in YouTube and Facebook land. How are you guys doing today? Um, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I am here. Uh, so we're here for another episode, episode 19 um, for the Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Uh, we are here to... Uh, do some role playing as well as running some numbers from some deals that are being posted on the Facebook group. So um, I'll run the numbers at least on my end. What I what I look at them that way it will help you guys understand uh, how they are. You know what buyers are possibly thinking of, uh, at least from my understanding. Um, there are the comments here. So if there are any differing opinions, please do uh, put in the comments. If you want me to go over a deal, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want me to go over a deal that you currently have under contract uh, or anything like that, please put it in the chat. We'll look at it. We'll see what we can do um, and kind of go from there. So uh, with that being said, i um, you know, happy to show you. First off, I want to go over um, how to talk with sellers on uh, how to talk with sellers and kind of role play a little bit. So, with that being said, um, sellers are always going to be looking for the quick cash, the quick money. They they're they're going to be like. Well, I want an all cash offer, but I want it in retail. I want retail price. I want whatever Zillow says, right? So what you do is you go through, you go through and you talk to them and you try to figure out why. Why do they want that price? Why do they want to um, figure out, you know, what's their motivation and figure out what is keeping them saying, hey, I want that price. Well, what if it's just because that's the price that they see okay so you have to um you have to check it out and you have to talk with them deep dive this goes back to what we were talking about last week um on building relationships and building rapport with the seller uh you you have to figure out exactly why they want to sell what is their reasoning and kind of take it from there. So um, for instance, if they're reasoning saying, oh, I just want that price. And if I don't get that price, then I'm not moving, then they're not motivated. Okay. You, we cannot convince people to sell. We cannot convince people to, to give us their house or, or anything like that. So we're here to be able to give them options. That is it. Okay. So with that being said, if they say, oh, I want Zillow price. Oh yeah, but I have a mortgage. I'm, I'm trying to figure out this. Okay, great. If they don't really have equity in their house, there's other options, the creative options. Okay. If you figure out that say, hey, the reason why they, they need say they want that price because they want to walk away with they want to be able to walk away with, you know, you know, 20 grand and after they pay off the mortgage and taxes and everything. Well, now you now you get down to the meat. Okay. Well, for us, this is how you would bring it up. Well, for us, cash is expensive for us, so we need a bigger discount for cash. But we can usually come up in higher in price if we can take over your existing debt. Is that an option that you might be interested in? Okay, we can talk further about that and how it would work. 
Um, but I could give you, say, your $10,000 or $15,000 cash up front as a down payment. And we would take over your mortgage payment that could be at 3%, 3.5%, 4%, whatever. We would have to get all that information from them. But it's something that you would talk with them and see, hey, is this something that you'd be interested in? And if it is, if it is something that they'd be interested in, then you run the numbers, you get the rest of the information. Okay. Um, that's kind of how you start going forward that way. If for some reason they don't want to give you the information, then say, you know, Mr. Seller, I, I completely understand you don't really want to go out there. If, you know, if that were the case, then I have to give you all my all cash offer, which is going to be a lot lower. Okay. And you're probably going to have to be coming to closing with cash uh, to pay things off. This way, at least I can try to come up to your number and we can see if we can make a deal happen. And, and that way it works out for both because I, I hope you understand that I'm in here to make money. This is my job. Not, I'm, I'm not a charity. I, I, I don't, I know you don't expect me to be a charity. Okay. So, it, and, and you, you get through to them that they, they understand that you are, this is a business. You are there to make a profit. And they're like, oh, as long as you can help me out with my, if they're motivated enough, as long as you can help them with their situation, then they will, they will be happy to hear. Okay. They'll be happy to help out. They'll be happy for you to help out and kind of take it from there. So with that being said, um, in the chat, if you are in the chat, um, put over off to the side any scenarios that you want me to go over. I'm happy to bring it. If you want to come come on video or even just audio, um, we can put the uh, we can put the chat over here, the link to the streamyard where you can come on. And so I did it to the YouTube and I'm doing it to the Facebook group as well. If you want to come on and we can play some role playing as well. Okay. Um, you know, I, I'm all for that. I, I want to help out as many people here as possible and role playing, uh, role playing some, uh, uh, some live calls or some calls in general, uh, I think will help everybody out there. So, um, these are the scenarios that I've come up with and the scenarios that I've, I've seen, these are my own experiences and these are reactions that I've seen come from the buyers that I've talked with. Okay. So with that being said, like as soon as I bring up, uh, if they're a higher price, I, I do exactly what I just said. I always go for the cash offer first. But if they're too high of a price or, you know, we can kind of meet in the middle, um, I let them know, hey, you know, sometimes we can come at, at things with a creative option. You know, if we can, is there is that something you might be interested in where we would either pay on payments, whether do a seller finance or if you have an existing mortgage, we could we could take over your existing mortgage. Okay. Um, is that something you might be interested in? This opens the conversation. Okay. With that being said, if, if they're open to it, then when you give them the offer, you give them all offers. Okay. In order to do that, you've got to get all the information. Okay. So with that being said, you can do, uh, that is the reason why I do have the, um, I'm going to, This is the seller finance calculator that I have, okay? And this is the way that you would figure out what is a, a good price for you, okay? Whether you wanna do a, a five-year balloon payment, 
whether you what interest rate you can there's a link here that tells you um, what the balloon payment would be at what interest rate and what payment and this will help you determine on your cash on cash return what you're comfortable with so on and so forth okay this will also help you with your um with a sub two deal you put the correct information in here for a sub two deal as well it it, it, it acts the same way okay um, the only fields in here that you change is anything in yellow okay um, same thing for buy and hold and also fix and flips okay another big popular thing right now is it's called a novation agreement is if they're really stuck on their price but they don't want to do a seller finance or anything like that you pitch a novation agreement you pitch hey how about we can try to come up to your price Let, let's let's see this we lock it in at you bring the price down a little bit if you can um but i'll put up the money for the renovations we'll flip this okay and then you just get paid out on the back end that way i don't have to put out the purchase price and you can and, and we both benefit that way or you can simply do that and then say we split the profits over x amount of dollars whatever the case is okay um however you can the good thing about seller finance is that you can negotiate it however you want okay so um also we have the rehab calculator here the rehab calculator uh, you can do all your individual stuff. This is where you're going to go in depth. But if you wanted to do a quick rehab and if you want to do a, a, a quick one, then you would do whatever your your per square footage for light, medium and large, and then put in the square footage of the home here. And then you would this is a drop down menu. You'd select light, medium or or heavy light medium or large rehab and it'll come up with the purchase price here or the the renovation costs so um with that being said i uh, again chats are open off to the side please do put in any scenarios that you want you do want to hear um, i'm happy to go over them in the meantime what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here i'm going to bring this down and I'm going to open up the screen share and we are going to look over any deals that we have here in the Facebook group. Okay. So this is the Metro Detroit off market real estate group. I just changed the banner there today. Um, We'll see if that works. I, I I like making a little bit little changes here and there and see see how things work. Um, so with this being said, I try to keep this group as much centered around real estate as possible. I try to keep the spam to a minimum um, as much as possible. So please do if you have any questions about. And about anything real estate come in here we have about 4800 members in this group at the moment okay and you know if i don't have the answer somebody in here should have the answer so uh, we are posting deals i know it seems like it's not but we are posting this is a commercial deal here so we are getting some commercial deals uh, people that post oh i got a nice duplex rent ready after you know post the full deal if you want to get it gone post the full deal this is what what i when i see this normally i see it's priced too high more most most likely it's priced too high or somebody's just being lazy so um this here is the warren deal um that i've been seeing going around right now they're asking uh, 36.5. I also just got somebody sent me this deal uh, with an upcharge at 55. Uh, it's crazy. So uh, 
this this guy Yuval is usually pretty uh at, he's pretty um active in the group uh so he's probably the person who has it directly under contract i don't quote me on it by any means but um this has been in here for a while uh i think you know for 36.5 i'd have to walk it to see if there's space enough to make it back into either a two bedroom because it being a one bedroom in here is not a very good appetizing Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 